Joe's audience. Hi, all you Screen TV viewers, and welcome to my show, Dark Spider's Web. With me, your host, Dark Spider. Tonight's episode, we're going to be discussing horror art and zombies. Because of that, I went to the cemetery and dug up my own fresh zombie. Ryan Ruben? Ruben? Ruben! <sighs> Not again. Oh, I'm never eating those homeless brains again. Didn't I tell you? Hello, everybody. Huh? I told you to stop picking homeless people. Hey, you know, there's affordable, nobody has questions, no family members. It's perfect. It's just, you know. There's enough breads outside in front of our building. Uh, are you calling me a pedal zombie? Huh. I got some pride. Huh, the last I heard. Huh. Mm. The last you heard. Anyway, why, why, why you got me out of the grave? It was so nice and comfortable. I mean, the last time I got out was, what, 70 something? You know, some guy, George Romero, got me out to make a zombie movie. And then he threw me right back in telling me I'm not a good zombie. Ha! <laughs> well, fuck you. Shit. Yeah, telling me I'm not a good zombie. I'm a good zombie, right? We'll see. Depending on how you act tonight. It might be good. It might be good. Hmm. Ah, so what are we doing? What are we seeing? We're going to be discussing horror arts and horror zombies, art. the zombie parade, the horror MF art. gallery. You want to see art, go to the bathroom. <laughs> I got a nice painting for you. We don't need that, do we? You can keep it for yourself. Oh, I did. Oh, anyway. We have any movies? We have any movies? Yeah, we got this great movie. You're going to love it. It's up your valley. What? Zombies. Zombie. It's called the zombie movie. We're good, we're good. I'm gonna see my brothers in action, yeah. They better be good zombies. Alright. And I mean good zombies by really bad nasty zombies. Not, you know, intelligent zombies, alright? Uh, 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 one smart zombie, I'm here for that. Oh, uh, you say. Oh uh, anyway, anyway, people are waiting. Let let's just let's just see the show You're yeah. the one who's running your mouth. I got a show to run. Oh, what else? Where are we going? What okay, else? we're gonna take a tour to the MF Gallery to see some art out there. What's that? MF? Motherfuckers? Are you motherfuckers? I don't curse your moms. No, it's MF. I think you're talking about yourself. What is that? MF? What the hell is that? What kind of name is that for the gallery? M. The people over there are fabulous. Those are the names of the people who runs the place. Uh, I bet they're all itty-bitty, itty artists, you know, who, who, who are <laughs> No, they're fabulous. Then to rock. Well, we'll horror. see. We'll see. Not like some people here, or who all he does is just bitch and complains. We'll Do, see. You don't look like you want to stay here long. You want me to draw you back? Okay, okay, okay. Take it easy. You have to get an attitude. Dark Let's start spider. to see how well you work. Here. What? Massage my leg. This is your first job. <laughs> you got some nerve, lady. I call you, I dug you up for a reason. So now start working. Do I get something while for this? We stri while we play. Do I get something extra for this? Why? Are you intact? Or are you missing a, a, a big part? It's all there, baby. It's all there. Huh? It's all there. It's all there. We'll see you later. Okay. While Ryan is massaging my leg, I'm going to take you to the tour of the MF Gallery. Hope you enjoy now. A little better.
with Kevin Clem. He does some awesome work. You can see some of his quads right here. Hi, Kevin. How you doing? Hi, I'm doing good. Thanks for coming out. So tell us, Kevin, how you started in this business. Well, I actually uh, got started doing uh, work for haunted attractions. Um, oh, yeah? Wow. So that was at the very beginning. I did stuff for uh, House of Shock in New Orleans, uh, various haunts around the country. And uh, from there, it ended up, uh, I got involved in doing some movie and TV work, and then Girls and Corpses magazine. Yeah, that's what I was going to plan to ask you. How long have you been working with Girls and Corpses magazine? Um, Pretty much for all the issues, I'm actually one of the partners in the magazine, and um, my partner, Robert Ryan, ended up coming up with the idea when he took one of my corpses to Comic-Con down in San Diego, and uh, so many women came up and wanted to have their picture taken with my corpse. I could know the feelings. They're wonderful. So, dead bodies, dead corpses. Come on. Thank you. So he kept saying, what's up with all the women and the corpses? And so then from then on, it became a magazine, and uh, now we just have a, a print print magazine just came out, so. Do you do any other kind of work? Uh, you know, this is what I'm mostly known for. I sort of became the corpse guy. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I, I usually try to uh, do other work in the, uh, the sort of makeup industry, but I'm more primarily known for my corpses. So. Come on, you should know why. <laughs> They're great, awesome work. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. Glasses on, come on, take a look at that. <laughs> so how long does it take you to make one of these things? You know, usually um, probably a good week. So, you know, it, it takes time to go ahead and make the skin, and then I have to wait for that to dry, and then I have to paint it, wait for that to dry. But I usually try to spend the most detail I do on the face, because that's what really makes the uh, the look of the corpse. Yeah. So, uh, awesome. thank you. And what type, of, what type of material do you use? You know, I have like kind of my secret recipe. Ah, uh, so he won't, he won't give it away. <laughs> yeah, I kind of have my secret recipe, but I always tell people it's chicken skin. <laughs> so you can kind of look. It's uh, that's like my chicken chicken skin recipe. So I'm kind of like. Isn't that great? So I'm kind of like Colonel Sanders. I have my secret recipe for chicken skin corpse. So. What other projects will people be seeing your work at? Um, I have like a couple movie projects I've just been signed on to work on. So um, hopefully you'll be able to see my stuff in a movie theater sometime soon. Um, I also did up a, a, uh, a pilot for Fox Television called 13 Graves. And it's about a treasure hunter. And it, I made a whole bunch of mummies and that sort of thing. So hopefully that will be on Fox Television sometime soon. Wow, you gotta look out for that. 13 Graves. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. Just have a few uh, movies coming out and then hopefully some haunted houses. Also, do you sell the, your works? Yes, I do. Do you sell it directly here online? Let yeah. Yeah, I have uh, people can see my work either at girlsandcorpses.com or my business, the edgeencollection.com. Okay, so that was Kevin here. Thank you, Kevin, for taking time to, for the interview. Thank you. And you guys, look out for Kevin. Go to his website and check him out. Bye. Wow, Rod and Ruben just ran to the bathroom up again. Let me tell you about the zombie movie from Two Chum Film from New Zealand. Oh. I hope that was the last one. I hope so too, oh. but you impressed me with your job. Uh, I heard you talking about the Sami movie, finally? We're seeing it, finally? Yeah, are you gonna stay here? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna stay here. Okay, yeah. so let's get some popcorn and let's just run the movies. Yeah, well, oh. what, wait, 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 what, what, what happens in this movie? What, what happened? Oh, you want me to ruin it for you and for everybody else? Oh, but I don't care about you. I care about everybody else. You won't want me to ruin it for you. Uh, 
Fine, fine, fine. So I see me. that George Romero had a reason to throw you back in. Hey, George Romero had no reason to throw me back in, alright? I'm a good zombie. I mean, what? Makes it a little more natural, you know. Yeah. What did you want to run in to the bathroom too while he was filming? Look, look. You're obviously it, it, doing it here. It was a tough You're time. Doing it was, a great job. It was a tough time. Okay, I just I don't want to talk about I, it. Okay, it was a tough time, and my pride got into it. And good help is so hard to find. Try to tell me about if, it. I guess I should start digging for someone else next oh, no, time. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you get them, all right? Yeah, 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 you go. Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Yeah. And, yeah. oh, you can work. Uh, okay, now, you guys go see the movie. Eh? I got work to do. Enjoy. That's it, the movie finished. The movie... Oh, oh, yeah, that was a good movie, wasn't it? Didn't it yeah. end it with a bang? Uh, yeah, I Did guess you so. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I, I did, I did. That was from Two Chunk Films from New Zealand again. Check out their other work. Yeah, and their website, twochumps.com, alright? They got all movies there and oh, a bunch of crappy stuff. Two chums, number two chums, that kind. Who you call it crappy? So far from what I see, you're the crappiest worker. Uh, so you complaining a minute ago? Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway. Let's see if he go. He has the parts later on. No, I got him, baby. I got him. We'll show it. I got him. Anyway, uh, 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 well, we're gonna see that uh, uh, CGI art thing you told me about too. We're gonna see that. Oh yes, we're gonna see. Dark imagery. Okay, um, we also have Rob's dog from Dark Imagery. He has some great artwork. Good stuff. Especially check out his vampire's heart. Good stuff, yeah. Wonderful artwork. It's that vampire art is like a Romeo and what? 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 No, no, you're talking. I need some new help, so if any zombies out there, just send over your resume. I'm looking for some new help. New zombies, great zombies, great worker, willing to work. Don't interrupt, because somebody's about to lose their job. So like I was saying, Dark Imagery, he has this fabulous vampire heart. It kind of reminds me of Romeo and Juliet, but just gone to the dark side. Go, take a look at it. Enjoy the slideshow. The little dark slideshow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was really good, yeah. 
Hey. Isn't that you? No, that's not me, obviously. I was in the cover of three. Issue number three. Oh, okay. I must have mean I must have missed that one, but you look so familiar here. But anyway, let's let's get let's go back to what we're talking about. What was your favorite artwork? What was your favorite uh, piece on it? I like the I like the if you, you even know what you see. Yeah, I like the woman's corner. I like that. I mean, I got caught, caught a glimpse, you know. <laughs> like that tanga, you know. I liked it that. I liked it that, you know. But. That was one of my favorite, too. Because mm -hmm. when a woman's gone, there's hell to pay. Oh, this is not Oprah, okay? This is not Oprah. All right. Don't push my button. <laughs> Thank you.